Salutations! How are you doing today? I am Maria. This is Love Pray Paint. Thank you for hanging out with me. Today I will be doing another I Tried A. Uh, and who is our lucky person today? Well, I don't know if she's lucky. <laughs> the person I picked for today's video is Kate Jobling. She is so adorable. The reason I chose her particular video is because I have never done a seascape before. And so I thought it'd be really fun to follow along with her tutorial and maybe I can learn something about painting a beautiful ocean scene. So I will be following her video, Acrylic Ocean Tutorial. It's for beginners. Um, so, I mean, anybody will be able to do this. I will link her video below. And if you enjoy watching this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you like it and I'll keep picking other um, painting teachers or instructors from YouTube that um, I will be following their tutorials and hopefully build my own skills and make you guys laugh in the process. And um, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I am almost to 400 subscribers. I'd love to have a huge family and lots of friends that we can all hang out and talk to each other and bounce ideas off each other. Um, I really enjoy all of the support. Anyway, I guess let's get painting and we'll meet each other at the canvas. We are at the canvas, well, not really a canvas. I'm just using some mixed media paper um, just because this is something for my own personal you know, um, walls or whatever. I'm not like I can, obviously I can't sell this or anything um, since I'm recreating somebody else's painting. So I'm just going to use some mixed media paper. Um, usually you want to like kind of uh, tape this down so it doesn't curl up. But um, if I did that, then I couldn't have my monitor. I have a drafting table, but anyway, long story short, I can't tape it down. <laughs> all right, so um, I've got all of my brushes and my paints ready. So we can just get started on our painting. So dab your brush a little bit with some water and first we're going to block okay. out where we want everything. So if we grab a bit of ultramarine and just paint okay. in where we want the horizon <gasps> to see. Oh yeah, that's ultramarine. Mine are very chunky. Gross. I usually go for two you know thirds up to the canvas. I'm not going to make mine. I'm going to make mine long enough. And wash your wide. brush out. Grab a bit of raw sienna and paint two in where thirds. you want the sea to end. That's good. This is just a very basic outline and it just really helps to get things straight in our minds where we want everything. So for the first layer I paint in the darkest colours that we've got. So in the sky we're going to get a bit of cerulean blue and we're going to paste that in quite neat up at the top. Okay, she washes out her brush fast. Wow, she's a rush very fast. You don't want to use a lot of water here, just so it spreads nicely. Just so it canvas. spreads nicely. I got it, girl. To marine blue. She's such a fast painter, girl. Oh, nice so it's nice and dark. So phalo. Deep color. What'd you say? Ultramarine blue. blue. So we can paste it into the horizon again. I have no idea what she said. I guess that's what we're gonna do. But just with a little bit less of the raw sienna. So get some ultra less green of raw and some phthalo green sienna. and mix that together. Okay, I can do that. That might have been too much white and too much green. Because the details are going to come later. The devil is in now the details, add girl. A lot more white. I like Down to carry to it up we've put so it shore. blends and you want to blend it while you go. For me, I mean, you could do whatever you want. But that's what I like to do. Well, Gotta work fast when you're following time. hers. Let me go over it again. You have to be really careful when you're working you on paper because your paper will start peeling. I don't know what she because said. This She's area is more in the distance. Fast. I think she said white so and that up as far as it can go. And that and other kind of blue. blue and then blend that down add more white as we go down. Is that what you said? Well that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Building up our layers right now. Again, I'm gonna switch my brush because this to me is too big for that. 
and I want a straight brush. So I'm going to remix my yellow ochre, my phthalo blue. That is so, why is this so weird? Feel free to use masking tape if you struggle getting a straight line at this point. Okay, I There's will. There's no shame in that. Add some green. I think we need more green. And now it's too green. <laughs> I'm still mixing my color and she's done. And so I'm going to take a clean brush and the clean I'm just going to take a brush like this. And she said a little bit so of our mixture that we had before. And bring it across. And make this a little bit hazy. So you don't have a harsh line. Now, I know that really, what she's doing is blending it. Lighter, usually white, but just underneath. So we're gonna go about gonna halfway down and a yellow green and a tiny bit of ultramarine blue, it. just to really make that stand out as dark green. Dark green. So we need more green than blue. Again, I'm just still layering. Okay, so... Yeah, Paper stirring feel that needs to happen. Where our waves are gonna Over it too many times. Now I Wash our brush out. I'm so far behind, but I'm not going to pause it. Okay, towel. I'm going to use the smaller one, even though it's super small, but I feel like I can be more precise that way. I can't do too much scuffling because I am on paper. And that's going to. Hers is a lot smoother. I think it's because think I'm working on paper. A scumble. A scumble? I, I don't call it that. I call it scrubbing. I call it scrubbing. It's not big enough for scumbling. Scumbling? I don't know what she said. Something about scumbling. I don't know. Scoop, scoop, and mix. Scoop, scoop, and mix. And what would I do? Just leave anything alone. So mine pretty much looks like crap compared to hers. <laughs> but um, we're just gonna go with it. Okay, um, <laughs> mine is not looking anything like hers, so I'm gonna go back through and add like some turquoise to the top of this. It just looks like I need to add a couple things on mine. Um, so I'm gonna keep her kind of paused for a second. And try to make mine look a little more like hers. I must have missed some of this. I don't know. But we are going to go back and try to fix it up a little bit. I think that is looking a little bit better. And it looks like now she's kind of going through and doing some detail work in here. So I'm going to work on that. Um, I think maybe I should go through and add some of these little white dailies. I thought I'd give you an up-close look at um, where I'm at 
It looks like my horizon line's a little bit crooked, so I can fix that. I need some more blending and some more depth on the wave. And then down here, I need some more white. So that's where we are. Just going through, um, I have her paused, and I'm trying to kind of make it look a little more, not realistic, but a little more like hers. <laughs> I mean, it's really important to stand back and kind of look yeah. at your painting. And we can even... So, it's really important that you want to make sure that everything is completely dry. Now, it's important that we want to be able to see some of the blue underneath. Okay. Not a lot, but just enough to make it look like there's some shadow in there. You could add um, something like this to do that. It's gel gloss so medium, and that will make your more paint shadow. more transparent. Because this. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, we can just carry on. So again, this bit is a little bit underneath the wave, so I'm not going to add too much. She said, Ooh, take it up. Oh my God, that. Took it up way too far. Oh really my god. Tight. I'm just gonna let the wind take that wave a little bit. Just drag it up. Oh, <gasps> I'm gonna carefully. fix this now. Very awesome. Very, very slowly. Yeah. And very, very light. Yeah, do that. I even want to press on. Here. Oh my god, I totally just ruined my painting. What I think mine do, looks terrible, do the same honestly. Motion along here. So think about how a wave comes in and it kind of. Now I see why I don't do space. Over itself Me a little bit. So it's still circular motion, but it's not necessarily going one direction. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't really think it looks like hers per se, but um, I'm just going to go through and kind of fix it up. And then we can meet back at the canvas and, or at the paper, I should say, and we can see how the finished painting looks. This is the final painting. Um, I really enjoyed doing her tutorial. It was pretty short and it was a little more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Um, I was thinking it was going to be easy peasy because it said beginner, um, but I guess maybe I am a beginner at seascapes, uh, so yeah, or oceanscapes I should say. It's not. Well, is the ocean and the sea the same? I have no idea. Anyway, well, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you had lots of fun and toodaloo. I guess I should probably show the painting. So this is what I ended up with. Um, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look as good as hers, but um, I'd say for my first one, it's I like it. I think it's good. So yes, thanks and toodaloo. following another painting tutorial that I tried up. Uh, I love her accent. Well, to her she doesn't have an accent, but to me she has an accent. Oh. Why can't I talk to you? Every time I turn on, I just can't talk to you. That's what she said. Okay, that was so inappropriate. Okay. What am I going to say? I have no idea. Welcome to Love Pray Paint. It's a game show. Oh, and Kate Jobling. Jobling. Why am I saying her name so weird? We're going a little blah blah blah. <laughs>